Okay, so now that we have everything set up, everything's weighed, every, all the bones are skinned, all that good stuff. I can move around the character really easily with all these bones, and you can see that things make sense. That controls his neck. This controls his eye. This is where your character should be. And don't forget, yep, you can go back to bind pose. Now, let's take the atypical way to animate, for example, and show you how boring that is. Let's take um, a leg, and down here at the time slider, on your keyboard, hit Shift E. Okay? And let's move it to frame 24 and hit Shift E. So I keyed it in two different spots, that way it loops. And let's move the arm down and hit Shift E. Okay, so we just keyed it to rotate only. That's what Shift E does. Now get kind of used to using Shift E because if you have, if you use the animate set key, it keys everything and you don't want everything keyed. You just want the thing that happens. Mostly it's going to be rotate anyway. With sometimes translation of, you know, the root bone. But we'll get into ways around that. All right, so now, yep, mm -hmm, he waves. Boy, and could you imagine like going through the entire character and trying to do that? Like, let's say him walking or jumping up and down. That would be tough and very boring. Okay, so now let's get rid of these keys. Cut, and I'm just right clicking, cut, and right clicking, and cut. Okay, there we go. All right, so now here's an easier way. If you go to hypergraph hierarchy, you'll see our list of bones and I'm zoomed way out. So you might want to zoom way out before you do this. Uh, if you click and drag a square box with the left mouse button, I have a hard, I have a lot of students that have a hard time with that click and drag box thing. So here we go. Um, just highlight those and very easily let's go over to character, create character set square box. Okay, now in here I have droid. So put droid in there. I only have droid because I typed it earlier and I was playing around with droid. Um, another thing is you have to choose what you want keyable. Do you want all keyable? No. In some cases, maybe. Uh, let's say you have a very stretchy character or something, you know, kind of odd where the character kind of disappears out of the middle of nowhere. Then you would want that. But what I have or from channel box this is very tough this is kind of like one of those things where if we get to choose every once in a while and you kind of forget every once in a while so I would highly suggest not doing this one I would suggest all keyboard except scale and visibility with some of the exceptions sometime with this turned off but for right now let's just go with these create character set all right so now what did that do I don't see anything different. Oh, wait, here it is, droid. And if you can know, you click and drag down here and you could change that to none or droid. But in outliner, there's droid also. So, and if I click on droid, you'll see all these great things pop up. There's a translate and rotate and scale, uh, no, no scale, translate and rotate on X, Y, and Z for every bone in this little creature's body. Okay, so some of these, you know, as I said, translate probably wouldn't be the greatest thing. I would say, you know, later on in lessons, you would take all the translates out except for the translate on the root. Okay, because you want that. The rest of them, as I said, it's not like you're going to go in here and go click translate and his antenna pops up. Well, you might, you know, you might get a really long antenna sometimes in certain situations. Okay, control Z. All right, so that's it. And uh, in the next movie, I'll show you what the advantages of having droid all hooked up.